So let's talk about today's video. Today's video is all about the Sri Lankan roast chicken. Now the Sri Lankan roast chicken is predominantly authentic Muslim culture food. Now there are so many versions of the Sri Lankan roast chicken. Every family has their own recipe. I'm going to show you guys an authentic version of it because when you say roast chicken it's actually a deep fried chicken as opposed to roast because back in the day and i'm talking about way back in the day they used to actually roast the chicken they used to put it in a pot and roast it on the pot so it's a pot roast chicken however with time everybody started deep frying the chicken which is faster and easier the sad thing about it is there used to be a sauce or like an onion relish that was made with the pot roasted chicken however with time and with the deep fried chicken being introduced the sauce seemed to disappear with history you know everybody didn't want to make the relish everybody thought it was too much and i guess nobody really wanted to go through so much hassle when they can just marinate the chicken and deep fry but adding the onion relish or this sauce is absolutely delicious it just makes it just takes the deep fried chicken or the roast chicken and just shoots it into another dimension of deliciousness i've seen only a very few people do this mainly traditional caterers like traditional sri lankan muslim caterers they do the whole onion relish with the roast chicken or the deep fried chicken so let's get into making the authentic sri lankan roast chicken i think the hulk buster can help i feel like the hulk buster can help mm -hmm. can, can, he, he is controlled by iron man hello you want some detox juice no, thank you. <laughs> what you're gonna need is a whole bunch of onions. So I'll put all the ingredient list in the description box down below. So take a look at that, okay? Already three onions in and I'm tearing. Oh my god, for the love of food. Clean, cut and slice the onions really finely. Once again, all the ingredient list will be down below. As you can see, there's a whole load of onions for the relish and the sauce. And this goes into the stock. You'll understand when I start cooking right now. Thank you. 
So as you can see, I'm working on two pots here. On one pot, I am reducing that gravy sauce that we just braised the chicken in. And in another pan, we are frying that onions until it's golden brown. It shouldn't be crispy, it should just be ripe. It has to give that beautiful color, flavor, and aroma. So working on two pots here. <laughs> The onions are getting caramelized and you're gonna put that gravy in. We are not gonna be adding any salt because there's enough and enough and more salt in that marinade so we'll be adding tomato sauce now that is the trick so you're gonna add whatever tomato sauce that you have at your home it's one of the little secrets that they do inside the tips just for you now for the main event we're gonna fry the chicken get a wok fill it up with oil cooking oil vegetable oil any frying oil would do slowly immerse this in oil Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is my assistant. <laughs> now we gotta really work quickly as possible. Really golden brown. Look at that. Wow. Now that is the color we are looking for. Now we're gonna really, really work quickly. We're gonna take this chicken out and immerse it into that relish just gonna show you guys how beautiful and golden and crispy this looks beautiful 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 so we're gonna work really quickly here we're gonna take the chicken out and then immerse it into that relish Slowly tip it over and while it's hot, just make sure that you get all that relish on top. Oh yes. You can even take that relish and just stuff it into the cavity and oh yeah. So there you go. We are done! Time to eat! There you go, your big platter meal. Now you can have this Sri Lankan Muslim fried chicken the way you want. You can have it with rice, you can have it with bread, roti. There are so many different various ways of making the Sri Lankan Muslim fried chicken. This is just one way of it. This is served at celebrations and even weddings. That's why I call it the Sri Lankan Muslim wedding full fried chicken <laughs> obviously you're gonna use the hand there you go oh my god
as you can see it's all like fried and with that relish it's still moist inside you can serve this with rice with roti with onion relish it's just so good you guys it's so moist inside beautiful take a little relish take a little rice I've cooked pineapple curry you can use the onion relish mm. it's so good you guys the onion relish that sauce the fried chicken the beautifully perfected marination yum 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 mm. so so good I can't stress enough on how much this tastes good see you on the next episode bye